o'clock on Sunday morning. Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. Well, our fifth day this year with a high temperature in the 80s. We made it up to right at 80 degrees the afternoon high today. The low is 53. We were well above where we should be. Average high for today, 68. Back closer to the record high temperature from way back in 1954. We've been as warm as 87 on today's day. Dry conditions this evening on the city cam shot. We have a couple of scattered clouds out there, but we've had dry conditions the last couple of days. It lingered through today and this evening we have mild temperatures. 65 right now, south wind at five miles an hour in general. The south southwest breeze today was picking up. We had wind gusts above 20 miles an hour most of the afternoon. Winds have settled down a little bit for our evening. I think in general we could see some wind gusts during the overnight, still around 15 miles an hour or so. So still a little bit of a breeze dry on the WLWT radar. Nothing locally. We had to expand it out to up near the Great Lakes, and they've had some ongoing evening thunderstorms blossoming and moving east. Anything that's developed on the south side of it, south of Chicago, has not amounted to much. It's going to take until tomorrow morning for this line to sink into our direction to bring us our first chance for some showers to return for our Tuesday morning satellite and radar overview showing the quiet conditions for the Ohio River Valley this evening. We will be dry most of our night. We start the dry, the night on a dry note and then into tomorrow morning past seven and eight o'clock. Some of those showers to the north may sink in enough at least some extra cloud cover. If not a in the morning, a couple of scattered showers around. Then we have a little bit of a lull for the midday. We refire thunderstorms in the the afternoon and evening that front's going to sit overhead and help spark off afternoon thunderstorms, some downpours, embedded storms. Some of them could be strong, some hail, some gusty winds. That'll be a return set up to a wetter weather pattern starting off for Tuesday. But notice that cold front. It's not a front that's just going to sweep on through and quiet us down. Instead, it's going to linger for a couple of days, turning into a stationary front. That boundary will be the focus with plenty of moisture and several disturbances riding along it over the coming days that will be in the wetter weather pattern through Thursday. The future cast at six o'clock tomorrow morning. Some of our northern counties, a couple of showers already. We'll see some morning showers around. Not everyone getting wet, not too much in terms of measurable rainfall for the morning. A little bit of a lull for the midday and early afternoon. And then here comes the development for the late afternoon and evening. And at that point, I think the better chance for some of those storms to be on the stronger side at times. Some hail, some gusty winds, a possibility. Most of us will get wet for tomorrow evening. That's more in the way of widespread rain with those thunderstorms. The storm predictions center at this point, putting us in a marginal risk for severe weather. Have not updated this yet uh, since this afternoon, waiting for an update later on tonight. It will be a severe weather event out across the plains, a much different setup. They have plenty of energy to spark widespread severe weather. For us, we'll see afternoon storms. Some of them could be strong at times. Again, some hail a possibility, some larger hail, maybe some gusty winds. That would be our concerns locally with those afternoon storms that develop. 62 for a low tonight. We start off the overnight on a quiet note. By tomorrow morning, a couple of showers around. We develop those thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening. Still make it to 77 on Tuesday. Widespread rain and thunderstorms Wednesday. Scattered storms still possible Thursday. We get out of that wet weather pattern and enjoy Friday and into Saturday. By Saturday night, we're back at it with showers. And watching the timing, it looks like a good band of rain on Flying Pig Day, but hoping it's going to be a late morning midday arrival. So we'll watch the time.